Hello and welcome to Sensor Networks. My name is Steve Strachan and I'm the product line manager for our installed sensors product line here at Sensor Networks. Welcome to our headquarters in State College, Pennsylvania. For those of you that don't know Sensor Networks, uh, we are a manufacturing company for NDT products. We make ultrasonic transducers, we make remote visual cameras and retrieval tools, and we also make installed sensors for wireless ultrasonic corrosion monitoring for all the different applications from oil and gas to power gen, looking for uh, corrosion, wall loss, and being able to predict um, failures before they happen. That actually is why we're here today. We have a very exciting product launch for our installed sensors product line. Um, so if you join me, we'll go inside. And we'll tell you a little bit more about the product. And now we're inside here. I want to give you a sneak peek at our new product, which is called Micro PIMS Intrinsically Safe. Uh, these Micro PIMS are fully wireless 900 megahertz ultrasonic corrosion monitoring sensors. They are rated for ULCSA class one div one or ATEX or IECEX zone zero. Each of these sensors can be installed permanently or temporarily. This is our high temperature sensor. This can sit on pipe temperatures as low as 40 degrees F or C all the way up to 500 C or 932 F. It's brother, the uh, dual element micro PIM, magnetic bases for vessels or tanks permanently or temporarily attached um, up to 150 degrees C, 300 F, and each of these sensors operates off of two commercially available batteries. Uh, on one reading per day, these batteries will get you over 15 years of life on either of the sensors. These sensors are connected to a gateway or series of gateways. These are 900 megahertz LoRaWAN gateways, which you can put all types of different 900 megahertz LoRa devices. Uh, the great thing about these is super long range uh, wireless connectivity. A series of gateways and antennas, usually one or two or three, will get you about two or three miles of uh, wireless range where you can put a multitude of different types of setter, uh, sensors all over a plant or all over a facility. So come with me, we'll go over to the demonstration room and I'll put a couple of sensors on some pipes. Now we're in a demonstration room. I'll show you how to put some of these micro PIMS IS sensors on an actual pipe. Typically what happens is you start with a baseline or an inspection to figure out where you want to actually send your, set your, your sensor. So you'd scan all over a handful of places and say, oh, there's one of our low spots, mark it, or over here, maybe that's an active area, mark it. And so we now have our locations, now we'll put on the sensors. The next move is to take our high temperature sensor and the clamp and affix it to the pipe. Okay, so now that my band is secured tightly onto the pipe in the area where I want to place the sensor, I unscrew the lid to the micro pump and I put in my batteries and get my commissioning cable back to my tablet. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start inserting the sensor into the port and I'll start tightening these bolts until I have an A-scan on my tablet. I will then finish commissioning the sensor, make sure it has a good ultrasonic A-scan and I'll make the last changes to the sensor, how often it wants to take a reading and make sure everything looks good, it's properly named. And from there, we'll put the cap back on and it'll be all done. Now that we've successfully installed the high temperature micro PIM, we're now gonna move over to the dual element micro PIM. Now typically the dual element micro PIMs are used for tanks and vessels, but for the sake of showing the install, we'll do it on the same pipe. So we have our magnetic base for the dual element. We're gonna go back in that same spot that we inspected earlier and we're gonna line that magnet up directly over top of the location. And from here, we're gonna repeat the same steps as we did last time by inserting the sensor, tightening down, and finishing our commissioning, and the sensor will be ready to go. And now we're gonna move over to the software and show you what some of the data looks like once these sensors start taking their readings. And this is WebPIMS. WebPIMS is Sensor Network's web-based backend where all of the data from the sensors ultimately lands where customers can do different types of reporting, analytics, and look at their sensor data. On the left side is how each sensor is hierarchically broken down or named. And as we move right across the page, you can see a pie chart which will alarm based on thickness or corrosion rate as well as a GPS map to locate each sensor. As I move down the page, you can see where each sensor is checking in based on a time, time and date stamp, the asset's location. You get calculated thickness, temperature compensated thickness, and material temperature. This is a function of the sensor that is based on the bottom of each micro PIM that takes an ultrasonic reading and at the same time will also take a thickness reading to be able to do temperature compensated uh, measurements. So let's pick this sensor right here, which seems to have some interesting corrosion activity happening. 
As it loads, what you'll ultimately see is on the left-hand side or the Y-axis is thickness and on the X-axis is time. And you can start to see what's happening each one of these sensor readings uh, over the sensor's life. You can take calculated thickness, which is just the raw data. You can do the temperature compensated thickness, which is kind of what we're seeing here. You can then overlay things like material temperature, or you can do other, other lines and, and data analytics on short-term corrosion rate, or if you have enough data, you can do long-term. One other tool that a lot of folks use is our operating interval corrosion rate click and drag tool, where you can see that there's not a lot of corrosion or some corrosion over a certain amount of times versus other times when there might be a lot more corrosion. In this case, this sensor is seeing quite a bit of activity over the course of the last month, month and a half. From there, you can go to the next tab over, which is the tabular view, where you can export all the data into XML or CSV. The information tab where you can check in on the status of how the sensor is performing with battery life, connectivity, and see how the sensor has been set up. You can also add captions or pictures to each sensor. It comes with a GPS map to show where it is located and then ultimately a, setting a settings tab for additional data analytics. Well, that's a wrap. Thanks so much for coming by and spending time with us. We hope you're as excited about MicroPIMS as we are. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us anytime. But more importantly, if you're ever in State College, Pennsylvania, feel free to stop by. We'd love to have you.